Hello folks. Well, I was going to bring you a hot tenting video this weekend, but unfortunately the campground that we're staying on hadn't got any pitches available where we could get a fire pit. So instead, I'm gonna give you a tour of our newly purchased hot tent come ice shelter, which is the Nordic legend Aurora. And this can sleep six to eight persons. So let's go take a look. Now this tent is actually quite bulky and you might struggle if you're just one person on your own and two people would be better. But the good news is it does actually go up very, very easily. So it takes around about two minutes to set up on your own. I've just got to pop inside now and push off that roof. And there you go, we're all set up for camping. Okay, so that's the shelter up. So let's go have a little walk around the outside and uh, see what kind of gadgets it's got. So this is the entrance. It's got some very sturdy zips here. They have the storm flap. Um, they were a little bit stiff when we first purchased it. Probably just needs a little bit of grease on there, but they are actually very sturdy, very strong and they're actually very, very good quality. Now the material of this tent is actually like a very thick canvas, which means it's, it's really well insulated. It's got the reflectives on the inside and obviously that will keep you warm when you sleep inside there. If we take a look here, these are the tie down straps if you want to keep things sturdy in that windy weather. It is a little bit windy today, um, but as you can see, this tent is barely moving at all and that just shows you how well structured it really is. It's got the reflective area here so that if you're driving around on the ice for any reason in the night, you can actually see the tent there and nobody's gonna collide with you, which is probably a good thing. This also serves as the pullout when you're putting the tent up. And you can probably see this little pouch here. These fold up and they can tuck in there. And we actually have one of those over here to show you what I mean. And this makes sure that you're not gonna lose them. Keeps things nice and tidy for when you're packing things away. This tent also comes with windows. And when, you'll see when we take a look inside that you can actually cover these up or you can leave them open, which is great because you get some nice daylight in there. We have a snow skirt here, which funnily enough, in the middle of winter here in Canada, has got snow on it. And if we take a closer look, there are some little holes here. This is where you'll put those ice anchors in. This tent does come with those. And again, I'll show you those shortly. Now the tent has actually got six sides and it's actually got two vents. And this is one of the vents that you can see here. Again, it allows that fresh air inside. It's got a little bit of netting there. Um, and you can either open those or close those from the inside. And again, that lets that fresh air come and go if it is needed. And what else is great about this ice shelter is that it comes with a built-in stove jack. And as I was saying, we were gonna use the wood stove ourselves this weekend, but unfortunately, as mentioned earlier, we couldn't get the pitch with a fire permit, but we have connected our wood stove. You can actually see here, this is made of silicon. Um, we do obviously need the chimney to be a little bit longer, but that just gives you a good example of how a wood stove fits in there. And this is the other door here, as I mentioned. One's that side, one's this side, exactly the same. Very secure, storm guarded, pretty good build. And if you can see there, that's the pull up for the roof. Well, that's the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. And straight away, you can see 
the height of this tent. I'm five foot six, five foot seven. If you were a six footer or even higher, taller than that, you've certainly got that headspace, no problems at all. This is the vent that we saw on the outside. It's got the Velcro, so you can either leave that open or close it. The windows are actually really, really good because if you wanted that extra ventilation or if you actually wanted to put in another stove jack, you can open those up and you get even more airflow. Or as I say, you can put another wood stove through there. And if you wanted that extra little bit of insulation, you can also put this up over the windows to make things warmer. Or even if it was night time and you just didn't want quite as much brightness coming in from other people around you. These do actually act as um, very good ways of keeping things dark in here. This strap here is to put tension on the door. Um, you can either tighten this or loosen this. Um, it also gives structure to the sides as well if they're flapping around a little bit too much or anything. And it's just quite simply a little tug on them and they do the job there. You've got this little gear storage pouch here. We've just got a couple of bottles in there. Malice, I'm not sure if that would be much good in this snowy weather. If you do use this tent for ice fishing, there are a couple of little pouches here to put those fishing rods in if you so desire. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. And again, one of the things I've noticed about this tent is just how well made it is. We have noticed a few pinholes in here, but actually, in terms of quality and stitching and everything, it really is very, very robust. And these carbon fiber poles, they really do make it very strong and sturdy. So if we carry on having a little tour here, this is the stove jack that we talked about outside. Again, you've got the metal thing here with the bolts holding things in place. If you don't want to use this, we do have this little cover to again secure that from the, the elements outside. If you are using your wood stove there's a little piece of velcro here that you just quite simply fold that back and attach it and that prevents obviously the heat causing any damage there. Another window, same design. As I mentioned earlier it does actually have six windows, one on each side. And if you really do like your fresh air, as I said, you can open all of them or you can just open one or two, whatever you desire. Here's the secondary door. And again, you can have them both open or you can just use one of them. Again, it depends how many people are actually using this tent. We use this tent for the past couple of nights. We put two camp beds in here, loads of space, as you can see. And, um, and yeah, it's very easy to get in and out of those doors and without tripping over each other. Over in this corner, there's another um, gear storage pouch, exactly the same as over there. Plenty of room in there again. And there's also another two pouches to put those fishing rods in. And if we take a look up here, there's even more storage. And this is where you can put hats, gloves, those perhaps lighter things. And this is just made of netting and it is removable. You can unhook it, unhook it here if you so desired. But I actually think this is pretty good. And again, it's this, there's plenty of room in there to put some stuff. And in the middle here, this is where you would push it up for the roof to give that ceiling its height. Now I talked about the ice anchors outside. These actually come with the tent. You get 12 of them all together. Very sturdy. Obviously these will screw into the ice if you're using it on a lake or something. We've slept in here for the past couple of nights. We've got a couple of camp beds in here. We've got a table. We've got the wood stove set up there. And yep, there's plenty of room in here. Definitely plenty of room. We're obviously not camping on a lake, but there was snow on the ground. So we bought these insulated mats just to give us that extra little bit of warmth. Now, because we weren't able to use the wood stove, we did have an electrical fan heater going. What I will say is that how much warmer it was in here compared to outside. Temperatures were down to around Around about minus 10 outside but on here it was really snug and warm and you could actually just sit in here with a sweater on no problems at all and it is definitely very very well insulated 
it's breezy outside and it's just barely moving at all if if at all and um yeah my first impressions of this tent is that i do like it and i would certainly recommend it well, I hope that you've enjoyed that quick tour of this Nordic legend Aurora six to eight person ice shelter. We are hoping to get out to a lake and do a proper ice camp soon. So please do stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you haven't also already subscribed, please consider doing so. In the meantime, I shall see you all again very soon.